Um, my name's Sam Allison. I'm a level five currently at the moment. I've been refereeing about a year and a half now. Uh, my name is Sean Perret. I'm a level four and I've been refereeing for just over five years. Uh, what inspired you to get into refereeing? For me, coming from a semi-professional football background, it was a case that I wanted to stay involved in football. So um, refereeing was a great opportunity for me to stay involved with the game and give something back to um, the long time I've spent within the sport. Yeah, I mean, I, I also played, but certainly not to any great standard at all. So um, I, I'd done sort of bits of ad hoc refereeing when people were short and that, so I enjoyed that. So I did it sort of properly, took the course, actually learnt the laws of the game, which I didn't know as a player, and uh, went from there, really enjoyed it. So, and I'm now refereeing at a much higher level than I would ever have played at. Um, are there any like particular heroes of yours that you kind of look up to as someone to, you'd aspire to? Well, obviously Howard Webb is... Uh one of the best referees ever been and obviously he's there at the pinnacle so a case of trying to aspire to any height near him would be great um, but okay again you've got your Mark Clattenbergs and your Mark Atkins and you've got the top referees that are in the select group um, so yeah all of those are officials that I'd love to try and be one of those and aspire to be. Yeah, I mean, obviously Howard's done done the biggest games in the world, really. I mean, he's a great role model to anybody starting off um, as a referee. But also, obviously, for myself, um, I've got some some really good female role models. So Wendy Thomas was obviously the first female in the top top league as um, men's league, and at the moment we've got Sean Massey, who's assistant on the Premier League, and we've also got some referees coming through into the football league and conference level. So, yeah, really looking up to those guys. Um. When you first started, how did how did you cope with the the level of abuse? Cause, I mean, I did a course when I was young, but I, I couldn't hack it. <laughs> so it was that under tens level. <laughs> For me, it was always a case of it being a challenge. I think, obviously, being a an ex ex player and obviously a player still playing, um, it was a case I was used to that type of descent being around the refereeing sort of like environment. Um, so therefore. I had an anticipation of what it was going to be like before I actually received it. So therefore, actually um, anticipating that before it actually happened, I felt I could deal with it a little bit easier. Um, and therefore, I would try and nip things in the bud early on so that it didn't escalate. So I think just having that experience, I think, helped me. Um, and I think for the first probably three or four games, I give quite a lot of yellow cards just to try and get some kind of reputation of not to swear or um, get any kind of, try to manage the players, really. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot about managing the players and um, obviously for myself it's slightly different because possibly male players are less likely to swear when there's a female around, I'm not sure, um, but you, you do try and just talk to them respectfully and, and hopefully they, they also respect you, so you kind of try to meet them in their own space really, yeah. Um, Sean, do you think the, the, the Andy Gray and Richard Keyes thing, do you think that actually helps promote female officials more or did it kind of more single them out? I think, um, yeah, I mean, that was a tricky one. I mean, the, at the end of the day, we don't really want to be seen as female referees. We just want to be seen as, as referees and assistant referees that are, that are doing a good job, hopefully, just the same as any referee. So really, at the end of the day, hopefully, it, it shouldn't really matter. Um, uh, Sam, have you ever found any issues with the, the colour of your skin being... No, Get not really. Not, not, not as a referee. As a player, there's been occasions that I've been to grounds and um, you've had little scenarios happen, but I'm thick-skinned enough to be able to deal with it, and I think that's helped me within my refereeing, yeah. um, and I've never, ever received any kind of racial abuse in any form, so I'm quite lucky, I think, at the moment. Um, oh, both of you, uh, what are your aspirations for your refereeing career? Do you think you can go all the way? Or? Well, I, I'd hate to sort of like say I could go, go all the way. I just want to try and let my ability get me to however high I can get, um, whether it's the next league above, whether it's level four, whether it's level three, um, football league, and just go from there, really. Yeah, I mean, obviously for myself, um, at the moment I referee on the Women's Premier League and I'm an assistant on the Women's Super League, so for me it would be great to be able to referee at the, the highest level, the Women's Super League level. Um, but I mean, I, I try not to set too many limits on how far I could go because I've already gone further than I thought I, I would have by this stage, so just as far as I can possibly go, really. Yeah.